Hi, I'm Ryan from Ooze Nest. As you may know, we recently launched our Ooze Nest materials range. This is a wide range of 18 different materials, 33 different colours. And in this video, I'm going to go through some standout materials and should explain what makes us different. So why buy from Ooze Nest materials and not any other supplier? Well, the main reason being is we know 3D printing. As you can see in the background here, we run Prusa printers all day, every day. We're always tinkering printers and doing our own ideas and we're all 3D printing enthusiasts. So if you buy from us, you know you're getting good customer support and we know our materials inside out. There's been a big issue in the 3D printing industry recently regarding plastic wastage on the 3D printing spools. So with our Uzi materials range, we decided to use cardboard spools. These are solid cardboard spools which are fully recyclable. You may be asking if you've used cardboard spools before and you're just deforming it on the spool holder. As you can see, these are really solid spools and they will not crush or deform on the inside when printing on a spool holder. Finally, at Uzi's Materials, we have one of the widest colour ranges in the industry. In PLA alone, we do 33 unique colours. And this doesn't include all the various other colours that you will see in our special filaments, such as the metals, lumbers and sculpt materials. PLA and ABS are pretty staples in the 3D printing industry. So what I'm going to do in this video is pick out five unique materials from the Uzi's Materials range, explain why I use them and the benefits of using them. So let's get straight on with it. So the first material we're going to look at is PETG. So PETG is fast becoming the go-to material if you're a bit fed up of using PLA and ABS. It has the same strength properties of ABS, but it's the easeability to print as PLA. So why choose PETG? Well PETG has very high interlayer adhesion. So if you want a part which is strong in all three dimensions and won't break across layers, then this is the material to use. Also, it has a low shrinkage factor, so if you need a precise part which won't change dimensions after printing, then again, choose PETG. It's ideal for engineering parts, quadcopter parts, or even outdoor, outdoor parts which will be subject to water. The next material is ASA. You've probably heard about ASA, but always wondered what makes it unique. Well, ASA has the same characteristics as ABS and also prints very similar to ABS. But what makes it unique is that it's ideal for outdoor applications. So it's water resistant, chemical resistant, and the colours won't discolour in UV rays. So if you're going to make a part which will be predominantly outdoors, ASA is the material to choose. So the third material is quite a new one to the industry, and it's called polypropylene. So what we have named it is PolyP for short. PolyP has a massive 600% elongation and break. Also, it's very fatigue resistant. So it's ideal for straps and live hinges which will constantly be twisted and moved and you do not want them to deform or break. It is also a food safe material and it has high optical clarity. This makes PolyP ideal for any type of food container. Our next material is TPU Bend. TPU Bend is a flexible material and you're probably wondering what the TPU stands for. It stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. So what makes this different to our normal bend filament is that it's slightly harder, which makes it easier to print and more abrasive resistant. So it's ideal for prosthetics, tires, or anything else which you need that abrasive performance with. Also, being a little less flexible makes it a bit easier to print. So if you have a less than perfect extruder, you can still print our TPU bend material. The final material I'm really excited to talk about is called Pet Eco. So what makes Pet Eco different is that it's manufactured from recycled bottles in Belgium. This, combined with our cardboard spools, makes for a fully recyclable 3D printed filament from start to finish. Pet Eco is slightly more than PLA in price wise, but less than ABS. It is also less than Pet G. Pet Eco has comparable properties to PLA. It has a very similar impact resistance. It is also slightly more than PLA, but less than ABS and Pet G. So if you're conscious about the environment, and want a good filament to choose, which meets your demands, then I would advise choosing Pet Eco. So, I hope you liked this video and you got a good overview of a few of the materials we do. So, as I mentioned earlier, we do 18 different materials. So, what I've gone over here is just a small selection of what we do. On our website, all data sheets, full descriptions are available, so you can definitely choose the right material for you. We're constantly running discounts and promotions, so hit up our website now to find the right filament for you.